1969, the first U.S. astronauts stepped foot on the moon. However, two years prior to that, this training field was built right here in Flagstaff. And now, almost 60 years later, the U.S. Forest Service and other agencies are working to restore it to its former glory. Um, every astronaut who went to the moon did train in Flagstaff, and so we played this integral role in that effort. Flagstaff is surrounded by volcanic rock. One particularly heavy volcanic area is Sunset Crater east of town. That's where scientists in the 60s saw an opportunity. You know, this whole area, this, the San Francisco volcanic field, um, there's a lot of different volcanic features that are great analogs to what they expect to find on the moon. It's a great place to really hone your skills with geology. And in the late 60s, they used explosive to create these moon-like craters, over 140 of them is different than a rock impacting from face, um, but this, the result's kind of the same where these centers blew up and came down and you have craters that are left over. They used the field until the late 70s and it stayed mostly untouched since. Even then, people understood how important it was to keep this for posterity and to educate people about um, the astronaut training as part of the moon mission. Now the Forest Service is working to restore the site to what the original training field looked like, removing decades worth of brush and trees. <laughs> With the goal to give people a true glimpse into the training ground of astronauts. And it looks the way it does now. It's been restored. You can see across the landscape. You can see these craters. That makes people really connect with the resource. It really makes people connect with the history. Reporting in Flagstaff, Mason Carroll for Arizona's Family.